Church Tech Weekly presents Infocom 2014, brought to you by Church Tech Arts, your source for all things live production in the church. Visit our website at churchtecharts.org. All right, continuing our coverage of Infocom 2014 here in Las Vegas, we are here with our good friend Rob Reed, which we've been, man, it seems like we've just done a ton of videos with you. Yeah, it's like, appreciate it. Yeah, like, awesome. like every single year. And they have Roland Systems has a, a brand new product. Uh, it's the XS line of uh, matrix routers, video matrix routers. And I'm going to let Rob just kind of go through it and talk about it. We think it's a pretty cool product. So, Rob, take it away. All right, you bet. Well, we have the new uh, XS series. It is a line of uh, multi-format uh, video matrix, audio matrix switchers. And we have three, uh, three models. All of them have eight inputs. Uh, the eight inputs are 15-pin uh, D-sub on the back, so that you can do like component, composite, S-video, and RGB uh, video, as well as eight uh, HDMI inputs as well. Um, the three different models uh, basically have, uh, the 82 has uh, two outputs, the 83 has three outputs, and the 84 has four outputs. On all the outputs, we have uh, HDMI out, as well as uh, HD base T, so that's great in any, uh, church environment where you're wanting to run uh, long distance uh, audio and video from the switcher to your uh, to your source to your projector or screen that type of thing so the cool thing about the uh, the matrix switcher is it is not only uh, multi-format but it is multi-functional um, and we've got um, some great uh, some features on there especially for the worship environment uh, the first thing is we have the basic uh, matrix switching mode which I'm in right now and I can just choose any of my inputs to go to any of my output screens uh, like for this example, maybe I've, uh, I'm doing a conference and I've got uh, two cameras. I can actually switch uh, my graphics in the middle. Say I want to change the computer source in the middle, I can just switch simply uh, by pressing these buttons here and switching to the different sources. Um, and then I've got 16 different presets. So if I have a, a worship service and I know exactly my presets, maybe I want my uh, lyrics on the outside screen and my main camera on the center screen, or I want my, uh, my main camera on all three screens, I can set up those presets. And all can be controlled either by the front panel or we've got a free iPad app that you can download and set up all your presets and you can actually do your matrix switching there. Um, some of the other uh, the, the modes we have is we also have a mirror mode so I can take a video source and mirror it so that my outside screens are just the opposite of each other. Um, I also have a, a span mode so I can take one image, either a camera, a Blu-ray source, and I can stretch it across uh, three screens or four screens depending on which uh, matrix uh, XS series that I have. Um, the last thing is, is really the ability to um, to route any source to anywhere, which makes it very, very flexible in a worship environment. Um, let's see, the, the other thing is the ability to control from the iPad. You can also uh, set it up through a LAN port, or you can actually uh, create an ad hoc network between a wireless LAN um, USB key right here and the iPad itself. Um, in this environment, um, it's, there's a lot of wireless connectivity, but all you have to do is uh, switch it online and then I can go here and you'll be able to see that I can actually switch this uh, directly from the iPad. So very, very cool uh, control ability uh, through, the, uh, through the iPad app. Um, it does have audio for video at the same, the same time. It does. That's a good point. Uh, audio for video. Um, here's your audio connector so you can have line level, microphone level. You can also have uh, phantom power on that as well. Um, the other thing, too, is the ability uh, that I want to emphasize, the ability to, uh, to handle the HDCP keys, which is great for uh, once you plug in, say, like a Blu-ray on, on the switcher itself, it actually manages that key. So if you switch it to another, another video source, an output source, it'll actually uh, rekey it in less than five frames. So super, super fast. Um, a lot of the other products out there in the market don't uh, offer that support. Anyway, it's going to be available later on this year. Um, target price is going to be right around 8,000, 7,000, and 6,000. So top model being 8,000, and the and the bottom model being right around 6,000. That's just uh, estimated target. Cool. Now in the audio section, it does have some sweetening. There's some EQ and different things. Absolutely. So you have uh, built-in effects which you can actually control from the iPad itself, which makes it very very handy. So you can go in there and adjust the uh, the volume levels and and do some EQ. Um, and you also can control and name your presets from the iPad app as well. 
Very, very cool. So once again, go through the price and availability one more time. Yeah, so there's three models again. It's the um, XS82, uh, that one's gonna be right around $6,000. The XS83 will be right around 7,000 and the XS84 right around $8,000. Those are just estimated street prices. And again, available later on this year. You can get more information at rollinsystemsgroup.com slash XS series. It'll take you right to the page. You can get more information on it. Awesome. It's definitely something that uh, it's. I don't think there's another product quite like it out right now. So it's very, very cool. So uh, thanks a lot, Rob. Appreciate right, thanks, it. Thanks, Van. Really appreciate it, guys.